Okay, so the, the last part of uh, making a magazine really is making the um, table of contents, okay, to show what's in it. Now, in, in programs like Word, it's quite easy to make a table of contents and automatically update. It's not so easy in Publisher, so we're just going to draw and create a table. Now, I haven't finished my content on my magazine, although I don't necessarily need to do that to do the table of contents. All I need to know is where things are going. So I've got a page called Welcome here. I've got a sports page here, and I have got a competition page here. That's all I really need to know. Uh, on my welcome page, I'm going to put my table of contents. We don't usually put it on a front cover, okay? So <clears throat> I'm going to insert a table. Now, you can either go insert table, or you can go on the home and put a table in. So I'm going to need a section at the top for table of contents to write the words in. I'm going to need... Uh, and one box for my three pages, and then I'm going to need another cell to put the page number in. So I'm going to do it like this. When we get our table of contents, it's quite often good to zoom in a little bit. So, there's my table. It's got dotted white lines because there are no borders or anything on it. So I'm going to start by highlighting it, going to the design tool, and putting a border on. So I'll choose my color, choose my size, I'm going to have three. I'm going to choose my line color, and I'm going to go for this blue that goes with my... Uh, style and nothing's happened yet because I need to pick which borders I want so I have all borders so there we go I've got my lines uh, I'm gonna if I select it again uh, what I can do is I can drag the edge and drag it a little bit bigger okay so it's gonna be this big so it's gonna be my table of contents uh, I want to write the table of contents in here but I will if I write it Great, but I want it across two cells. So I'm going to highlight that. Spell it correctly would help. Highlight this. I'm going to now go to Layout in the Table Tools. I'm going to click on Merge Cells. I can then decide where I want it, so I'm going to center it. Uh, I can then go back to Home. I can make my writing style whatever I want it to be, whatever size. So I'm going to make it bigger. I'm going to put it bold. Uh, I'm actually going to make the writing style white. Because I'm going to go back to design and I'm going to make the fill that blue, but just for that cell. So there we go, there's my table of contents. So page number, this page says welcome on it. Page number two, if I scroll down, you can see the two here. So I'm going to write welcome and I'm going to put three. And the second one was sport, page three. And then I've got competition. Page four. Quickly again, let's highlight it. Uh, let's go home. Let's make the writing a bit bigger. And there we go. I've got a table of contents now at the top of my page. Okay. If I add another page in, I can go to the side and I can right click. Okay. If you wait until the arrow, if you can see there, it changes to like an arrow pointing at the, the line. Uh, and I can go on to. Uh, one of these should say insert or format table. That's not working. So they've changed it. So let's highlight that cell and let's go to layout and let's just do this. Let's insert below. Okay. And if I insert below, then I can write below and I can add another page if I wanted it. If I put too many in, I can highlight and I can click delete and I'm going to delete the row. Remember, rows go across and columns go down. So by using the insert table and then when you're on the table uh, you've got the design for the borders and the background colors you've got the layout for where the text fits for merging for inserting and deleting rows it's quite straightforward to make a table of contents so I would suggest you unlike what I've done finish your magazine first and then pop in a table of contents